I did. I faced this question many times when I was growing up, um, and and I think it's really important that the next generation. I mean, speaking personally now, not on behalf of Amnesty. Uh, personally, as a person who grew up in this country and has seen the political changes that have happened, um, it's so important that the next generations include people who are not um, not just in the sciences and math and engineering and doctors, but are people who are in uh, politics, in the law, and in entertainment. I know that sounds very strange. Nobody wants their child to grow up and be an actor. I understand that. But if we had more actors and more directors and more people in Hollywood who knew that Muslims weren't all terrorists, then it wouldn't be that every movie that shows a Muslim is pretty much as a terrorist. We need people who are writing and, and talking in journalism, right? We need them writing in newspapers. We need them writing sitcoms that star Muslim characters who, again, are not terrorists. So we need people, parents, to support their children to do different things. Um, it is lucky, I think, that, that I grew up and had the support financially of my parents to pursue a law degree instead of a medical degree. Um, though they wanted me to do a medical degree. And as a human rights lawyer, I definitely am fine. Um, I got a, um, I was very lucky and I was able to pay for law school. My law school paid for me to go there. Um, they gave me money afterwards. Uh, I pursued human rights law and it's actually not, it doesn't pay badly at all. I'm totally fine. And my brother is also a, a social justice lawyer um, in Baltimore here. Um, I know a lot of people who are Muslim who are working at the, the best organizations right now. And I can tell you, you may wonder why is it that these organizations work on these issues so much. Partly it's because they care, and partly it's because there's people like me who are in the organizations to say, hey, we've got to speak up when this happens to the Muslim communities. And I can give you a personal example. I was at another organization that's very prominent when uh, we found out that Council on American Islamic Relations, uh, that the leader of CARE was under surveillance by the US government. And I went to a meeting with a bunch of other people at that organization and I said, do you understand what CARE is for the Muslim community? And they said, no, what is it? We've never heard of this organization. I said, the CARE is the ACLU of the Muslim community. The CARE is the place that people go to when their child is attacked or when they're fired. And if people at CARE are under surveillance, this is horrifying. This is devastating to Muslim civil rights in this country. They said, oh, really? So it's vital that we're in these organizations. And it's fine for your kids if they end up doing it. And, and we've got to change from what we've been doing. Because you know people don't even know that their doctors are Muslim. They don't know that the people who are the brains behind our best innovations in science and engineering are Muslim, but they find out that there's Muslims, you know, we will feel it if there's Muslims in Hollywood and in journalism and in law.